Quick tip. You can save your layout as a PDF from any Adobe Design program, and anyone with a free Acrobat Reader will be able to view it. PDFs are self-contained, so they won't need the original images nor the fonts, and yet they'll be able to see your design exactly as you created it. Hello, creative! It's your Graphics Girl of GraphicsGirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand. But first, how would you like a cheat sheet? Hmm? Woo! Head over to GraphicsGirl.com and get your free Photoshop cheat sheet. It'll show you all the shortcuts in the program, whether you're on a PC or Mac. Just click the link below. So here's how you can create a PDF from a Photoshop file. First, it's a good idea to check your resolution of your original native file in Photoshop. To do that, you'll come to Image, Image Size. Here you can see my original file was high resolution or 300 PPI. Because of that now, I know that I could create a print-ready or press-quality PDF for this file, so it could be printed. So to create the PDF, you come to File, Save As. From the Save As dialog box, it will generally default you to the location where you've saved your PSD so that you can store your PDF in the same folder makes sense. So it's from the Format drop-down that you can choose all of these different types of file formats. The one we want is Photoshop PDF. When you choose Photoshop PDF, it gives you the option to embed layers. Here, I generally will uncheck this. As the PDF that I deliver to my printer or client, I want it to be as small as it can be while I retain the editability in the native program, such as Photoshop. I am going to choose to embed the color profile. When you choose Save, this in the Save Adobe PDF dialog box is where you can set whether you want a high or low resolution PDF. Here, by default, I could choose high quality print. That is basically equivalent to press quality. The press quality preset creates files for high quality commercial printing. Generally, press quality and high quality have the same compression or resolution. Here, 300 pixels per inch. You might want to make sure that this is at maximum quality. And on a Mac, I choose to keep my compression as a JPEG. In terms of compatibility, this refers to what type of Acrobat Reader the end user needs to have. So from the dropdown, you can see that you have four, five, all the way up to 10. You might wonder why is she defaulting to five? High quality print default seems to default to Acrobat 5. And that's because not everybody always updates their Acrobat Reader, especially if they don't have the full-blown pro version of Acrobat or Acrobat DC, they just have the reader. It might have been a few years since they've updated their reader. So you want to make sure that the PDF you deliver can be easily opened, which is kind of the point of creating a PDF when you think about it. So you'll choose Save PDF. It might give you a message such as preserve Photoshop editing capabilities is incompatible with earlier versions of Photoshop. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know. You could choose to don't show this again. When you say yes, that's it. It has now saved a PDF in the same folder as your PSD. But what if you wanted a low resolution PDF? You'd come to the same process as you did before, Photoshop PDF, but in the dialog box, I'll go ahead and replace it. In the dialog box, instead of high quality or press quality, you could choose another option such as smallest file size. 
This will allow you to have a PDF that would be perfect to upload on a website or that could be printed to a local office printer, regular laser jet printer. Those compression settings or resolution fall between 100 or you could manually override this and say 150 ppi. One last note, there is one more setting as a Photoshop PDF that you can create located here under the presets and they are your PDF X1A 3 and 4. I generally will always save it as a PDF X1A. PDF X1A supports CMYK and spot colors but it doesn't allow for color management. RGB images are converted to CMYK and CMYK values are preserved. Image resolution is the same as press quality. And that's all there is to it. That's how you can create an Adobe Acrobat PDF from Adobe Photoshop. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no i and three r's and i'm here to help you design your brand